All right, welcome everybody to another Let's Play. We are playing No Man's Sky. Um, now, I went ahead and did a little mining, a little trading, all that good stuff off screen. Um, tried not to get too much money. I'm under a mill here. Grabbed as much stuff as I could, and the reason is because I wanted to get this done so we could do this early. Uh, now I need to create the anti-matter housing, which I don't mind doing, but I really, I, I really wish that they would like. Uh, and of course, now we are going to create a work cell. So we've done this. So just let's jump ahead there. Deal is the hyperdrive. Um, before I do that, we're going to go and take a look and see what the market is for ships. There is one thing I'm going to share with you all that I have not yet done, but I would like to do. What's up, baby? Um, we're going to request some dialect help. Good. I feel like this is a good thing to do. Uh, now, understand the Vikings are considered a warrior-like race. Um, the Kovacs are considered a science-like race, and then, holy shit. Now, this looks a lot like what I had before, which was, uh, the Green Dragon. And the Green Dragon, and the Red Dragon. This puppy's gonna be insanely expensive. It is a Class A hauler, guys. So I am not expecting to end up leaving with this, but... Oh, puppy. That good. 17 million. Even with the exchange rate on my ship, I'm not even scratching the surface here, and it's a shame because this is a. It's a hauler. She's a heavy one, man, and it's uh, quite a nice ship. Oh, Jesus, I want it. I do. But, uh... As badly as I want it, I cannot afford it. This is another fighter. Getting a ship is something that I'm going to try to do in this hour-long episode here. We're trying to make a, a uh, each episode of this at least an hour-long. I promise you all that at least. Uh, and I gotta say, I am quite impressed with No Man's Sky right now. I feel like this is literally the same ship I have. Just about, so I'm just defining that. The only thing they have that I don't have is efficient thrusters. Um, I do like the color of their ship better than mine. So, they want... Uh, no, I'm not gonna... I get one more slot, but... Uh, I just think that's exuberant, the price there for that, so... Back for a little dinky start if we go. I'm gonna do a favor though, we're gonna look out a little. I wanna see if there are any buildings that I am not aware of. If there are... Uh, then y'all, this might be worth exploring. And the reason I say that these are worth exploring is because there's something interesting that I think you all should know that I have learned. And that is that some of these building sites that you see Well, hold on here. Give me a minute. Oh god. Uh, let's pop this puppy on the ground, baby. No, signal boost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at nearby structures. Now, I personally, I love this update uh, with that, that I don't have to. Well, no shit, there's a trading house. 
tell me that. It's a new one now. So there's more than one trading post. We are at a trading post, so... Um, basically, you just hold this button down and pick these up. And the reason I'm huge about these guys is because, frankly, this is something that, to me, should have always been in the game. No, it's in the game, and I dig that. I dig that quite a bit. Um, I gotta say, uh, I'm a little bummed that I'm not seeing more of a variety of, of buildings. And I think they want me back in space. Now, somebody told me you get a freighter for free in this. I personally think that it is Hello Games' way of being like, we screwed up our bad, but you know what? I'm not gonna bitch. Freighter's a nice ship, I will take a free ship. Well, I have this fossil of a ship right now to play with. Uh, some of you out there were bitching about getting the free freighter, but look. If you don't want it, just don't use it. That simple. But, uh, Papa here, I'm using that ship. I'm gonna try to learn a few more words of the Viking language as I go back to my ship if I can. I'll have to say things like, shows no desire to kill me. Thank you. That's a good quality in a person. Uh, now we have quite a few Let's Play board games coming up. I think I told you we've been doing these little... Sorry to get off the subject here, guys, but you see here we have six of them. These are small, what they call Paco games, and they are, each one of them, it's a completely different game. You can buy them at like Barnes and Noble. That's where I got them for like $4.99. Um, like this one is a lot like Othello with ghosts. Orc we have not tried yet. Spy is actually pretty fun. This last one here, Lie, is pretty much Liar's Dice, just in simple cards. And the cards are long and skinny like that. And then uh, Dig we have not played. Orc we have not played yet. But we have tried the rest of them. And have I really enjoyed them, actually, and what's great is they're only the size of a stick of gum, so... You know, if you get a pocket, you, you may want to play something different than just... You know, like your normal deck of cards, although these aren't a normal deck of cards, these are collector's edition bicycles. I think I told you I collect card decks, so... Uh, I got a bunch... Um, I've been playing poker and blackjack since I was a kid, so... I'll stare back. Don't stare at me, I'll stare at you. I don't know if we should have like a moment there, like a I don't know. These are cool little ships here. Um, I'll be honest, the update I uh, would like to see is being able to color my own ship. Would be cool. I like that I can color my own outfit. That's quite a honking ship there. Um, it's still a class C, but god, that money y'all want these are just... I honestly think what it's going by here are slots. Now, to get the money I got, I pretty much had to go and do a lot of basic trading back and forth, and that takes hours. Uh, if you do not know what you're doing. Luckily, I know, uh, it, it did not take me half the time, but I'll tell you my secret so far has been just refining. A lot of refining. Get the core element, refine it, sell it. Core element, refine it, sell it. Keep doing that and get to you can do better. So that's only 27 million, that's all. So, uh, the price of money in this game, uh, one like that, I feel like before this update, this next update, would have probably only cost me maybe 12 mil. Um, I, I had a great ship, probably one more like this, but it was a class A, and I think she only cost me about 12 mil. And uh, it had like 36 slots, so I don't know if that was a game glitch or if I just got a good deal. I don't know. You guys tell me. Uh, what has been your best bargain here? 
shall be there. Now see this one's reasonable at you know four mil and if I could I'd buy this puppy in a minute. Now one thing I'm told that I really want to do and obviously the higher the planet when it comes down to technology the better. So uh let's go here to technology. Uh hyperdrive. Now I know some of you are like, why did you put it here? Uh, I don't have a great answer for you, so if you're looking for that, I'm sorry. I guess I don't. But yes, I guess we get a freighter early on in this. So let's go to space, take a look and see what we can do with our freighter. I'm frankly trying to get the hell out of here anyway. Ooh, and I guess it's the first system we jump in, we will get a freighter. Um, so there's our space station here. Now let's look around and see if I see a freighter. Do I see a freighter? Oh, whoa. I do like these beautiful planets, man. And these rings for these are, uh, something now, right? Around there, people? Well, hello there. Okay, I gotta wait for that. Yeah, I'm not big on Arctic planets, personally. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you all, they're definitely my least favorite planets to explore. And I know I got a lot of shit over there, but look, I, I call it how I see it, people. And I'm honest about it, alright? Told you all I'm playing this game as honestly as I can. So what happens is, you end up in a system with a crater. You help defend the freighter, and apparently the captain is willing to pawn you off from the freighter. I don't see a freighter in here. This seems like kind of a quiet-ass system. Not a lot going on. Um, I do know one thing that a lot of people don't know, so I'm going to address it now, is that something that seems to confuse people is if you're having trouble warping to your friend's stuff, understand the way they've done stars now is that the stars are colored. Um, and that's not like a racist metaphor. That's literally the stars are colored. So what you're going to do here, I'll show you on the galaxy map, right? So down there you'll see how there's a green, a red, you know what I mean? You'll see different ones here. This is Vicreen, Contact Level Intermittent. Um, let's see if I can remember. So select a new path, no not very explore, path selected, no waypoint set, path selected, no black hole, but current path, blah, blah, blah. okay, go back to center. Now I am not the, uh, I'm going to scan for some discoveries here. I've not done this since I reinstalled this game. And thank you all, by the way, for being patient. I know we did not do a lot last week. Uh, and I do apologize for that as best I can. It's just been a little bit... Oh, Corvax. Now, Corvax are my own personal favorite system. So we're going to hold on the button there. We get this really cool work uh, sequence. You know, before, you didn't see the ship. You just saw... Uh, you working, but I like this a lot better, frankly. And I have to say, Hello Games, you have really stepped it up. Uh, this is how you win your fans back right here by making good on the things you promised to do. All right, now look, look, look. What the fuck is that? Okay, so we're gonna scan this unknown planet. It is Euclio, acidic planet. My favorite. Before we get to that, we are gonna have a little fun. Don't stop me now, I'm having a good time. You see what I'm saying?
Let's see. I've done a dog fight, guys, so if I suck at this, bear with me. Holy shit, is that a fast ship? So that one's done. Let's go get this other. Now you will notice, yes, other ships are also shooting at the ship, because not everybody is out to get you. Now mind you, I should be worried about my shields right now, which I'm being an idiot and not paying attention. But and what I tell you, I need more sodium. Quickly, that's not gonna hold that. That motherfucker's got some sort of death ray. He finagled me, guys. He finagled me. This is not my first rodeo, motherfucker. What you call the old yin yang right here. So there we go. Boom. Now, two good things happen when you fight space pirates. You get your flex on and look badass, but two. Okay, one good thing happens when you fight space pirates. No, I'm kidding. Um, mine when you can, guys, out here. Do not hit friendly ships if you can help it, unless you like having your ass handed to you on a regular basis. Because they will hand it to you before you can even blink. And believe me, you don't want to be caught uh, with your proverbial pants down around your ankles for that shit. Uh, I cannot stress that enough. Now your deflector shield, if I remember right, will come back up unless that's changed. Uh, now there's a reason why we're trying to help these guys out right now, and that is that I want that epic big ass ship. Now, having Critium is also good, and can go for an alright penny. The biggest money I'm told is in something me and you and this Let's Play have been avoiding. So I don't want to keep avoiding it, actually. I want to, I want to check it out here. Um, so let's go see this freighter, shall we? Somewhere around here we should get a hail. There she is. So I guess we can get some sort of hail to be welcomed into this. I don't want to piss this freighter off because this thing could kill me with one good shot. So what I'm going to do instead here. Is this look for a place to land on the freighter? I was told I could find one, so we're going to look. I feel like I've clearly missed. I would probably land on this beast. Do I land here? Do I land here? Do I land? I don't know.
I'm guessing it's in here. It looks like it's in here. And there we go. Now we are on a freighter. I'll deal with the automatic guide and the rest of the storyline soon. I just want to actually take a look on this freighter and see if this is one that I am allowed to get. Or in fact, I buy this puppy. The Corvacs are cool looking. I like them quite a bit actually. They have better armor. They have a built in hyperdrive. Eh. Money, money, money. Am I right? So we're going to make our money both in taking care of space pirates and uh, doing some dog fighting. Once I sip my sip my ship up, once I sip my ship up, once I sip my ship up, uh, if I can, uh, then I will become a dog fighter as well as a explorer. Hello, Captain Digger. Maybe I do not know. Uh. Yeah, we'll come back when I got that, alright? Right, we'll, we'll come back. I was clearly misled. I was told that uh, you can get one for free. Unless they decided to remove that. But I don't think so. I think maybe I haven't hit the right mission yet. As far as I know, we basically defended the freighter from an attack. The captain distraught and sick of putting up with this bullshit. I was like, screw it, have it. So then I have it. Thank you, Peaches. We're gonna go find it side. Fuel source. Old E to tag, let's tag that shit. And some of these last two, when Rose, our other Let's Player is starting, Rose is going to be joining us for one of our Let's play a board game, so we're going to be doing a Let's Play a board game of uh, Spy, actually. One of those Paco games, followed by other ones down the road. It sense that one is a 1-4 to four player, uh, Rose will be making her debut on that one. Along with Luna and myself. Uh, so all humans this time, guys, all humans. Um, as I said, I know we've been very lax on the puppet material lately. We have reasons for that. No, we're not phasing them out. On the contrary, we are phasing them in a lot more. Uh, it's just been a matter of... We've had... Basically, the oil burning... So much that it's been... Almost burning our ass. It's, it's all over the place right now. It's getting things done. It's been rough. Um, the behind the scenes of a YouTube channel are that you don't see all the other stuff. So I said before, we've adopted a puppy, so we're training her. And she's a very sweet little dog, but she is most certainly a lot of work. Um, she was a rescue dog. We think she was abused. So she needs a little more care and a little more attention with how you train her. And probably a normal dog. Um, and she's very sweet. She's a pit bull terrier mix. Beautiful, beautiful dog. She has a uh, fur like Scooby Doo, for lack of a better term. We already decided that we were going to, for Halloween, we we're going to get her like a Scooby Doo game tag. Just dress her up as Scooby Doo. She quite literally looks like Scooby Doo. 
Right now I'm scanning as many creatures as I can, so I can see what the hell I'm looking at here. Docile, docile. I like docile. I like docile. That sounds good. That's a pretty one, isn't it? I'm not gonna lie to you all, I'm quite excited with the fact that right now I feel like they've done a great job with the new lighting. Um, things feel and look quite a bit more vibrant now to me, and bravo for that guy's uh, at Hello Games. Yes, there's still certain things I think you guys shouldn't have done, like, you know, piss off your player base, but look, kudos for taking it on the chin, and instead of running with money, you're, you're doing what you said you do. Um, as I said before, I know another company right now that, frankly, in my mind, I don't trust worth a damn, because they have went and did the opposite and blamed something only semi-related and said, oh, well, we can't do anything because of it when I know, what does say I know people that know people about, say, said lawsuit going around, and I know for a fact that that is not the, the reason, that that is not the case. They could, if they wanted to, still be viable to add new content and, uh, improve a game that they promised Kickstarters they'd improve. And as a Kickstarter, I can honestly say, I will never buy another game from that company, that's for sure. I feel like I uh, got swindled horribly. Even the things they claim they do for us, I don't think they did. Um, and if that sounds harsh or bitter, understand, I keep things serious when I talk to you all. I don't lie about them. Well, I'm trying to be nice enough not to call out the company. I doubt it's hard for you all to figure out who the hell I'm talking about. It's pretty, pretty easy. Um, I'm not trying to have some huge argument about it because I've had ridiculous amounts of dumb fights over the entire thing already. And, you know, fanboys, oh, well, they said they do what they did and didn't do like what they did, well... I would agree, but where's all the rest of the shit that I paid for that I was promised? Sorry to say it, guys, but I've said it before. We have got to hold these companies accountable. If we don't hold companies accountable, then what good are we as gamers? It's the same thing with the whole bottom line for games being 60 now. I'm sorry, but I still don't pay 60 for a game. I don't give a damn how bad I want it. I wait for it to go on sale for at least 40. That's the highest I'll pay. 60, 80, 100. Not happening. Um, don't get me wrong. I know a lot of work goes into them, I'm sure. But, people. Yeah, companies, I'm, I'm just saying this from the bottom of my heart. Please, not get the fuck off with that. Um, as a gamer who has kid, you know, one daughter, uh, who has bills, who has things that I could pay for in the real world, the only thing you're doing is isolating people like me and keeping a contingent of 13 year old, 14 year old gamers with disposable income, and yet most of your games are rated adult. So, who are you really making this for? Because uh, I'm calling you out a little bit. I don't think it's me. If it is me, then why the hell are they so expensive? Uh, and let's be honest here. It's not that I'm being cheap, people. I'll accept the knowledge of the Codex. Good. You want to learn as many alien words as you can. Now these here will teach you some different words too. These are good things. You'll see here... Oh, I accomplished a milestone. What did I accomplish? But the next time we go for eggs, guys, we're going for eggs. Because apparently, that is how you get a ship quicker. Is you go for eggs. And apparently these things come out of the ground and attack us, so... 
now that I know that we're going to be dealing with a Kung Fu ass weapon, uh, I've heard for now there is a way to deal with this. And I am willing to try and deal with this. Uh, anyways. So I think this is part of the story here. That's me. That is me, guys. This is what I look like. Um, I like that I get to pick me on this, so thank you to Hello Games again. This is something I felt like was missing. It's cool. It is friend. Probably the last, I got on the first. Okay. Uh, now, I'm not gonna knock it. They're trying different things with this, and I get what they're trying to do. Which is basically they're trying to... Fine. We're just in... Wait, wait. What's that name? Okay. I'm looking here for certain things. One thing I'm looking for is structures. Speaking of structures, let's uh, slap a doodle my thing down here. Let's yes, slap a doodle. Fucking get over it. Bam! Scan every animal you can for two reasons. One, you don't know if they're going to be friendly. I'm telling you now, you do not want a horn up your ass while you're trying to explore and then suddenly you get wailed on by an animal you thought you could trust, only to find out that they are some sneaky, beaky little shit. I don't think that won't happen. Yet. That will happen. Horn in the ass, I'm telling you. Where's the way to go, baby? Where's the way to go? First off, we're gonna go here. Hop in. Refuel this. We're gonna hop out. Because we ain't done yet. I'm not working out of this system until I have thoroughly fucked this system. Now I'm talking slow jam fuck. This system is getting explored, drilled, strip mined. Uh, we are exploring the shit out of this system. I know you all are like, man, something's wrong with this dude. But look, look, let me tell you something. I don't care. Uh, and another thing, frankly. I'm really starting to really enjoy this, you know, this, this click menu. Once you get used to it, it's fucking... A little cushy, not gonna lie. Get used to it there, it's nice. So again, just hopping in and out to save. Oh, it's a little hot in this house. I could turn on the air. Uh, we just ended up getting uh, new pillows over here. I know that's posh for us, right? I'm gonna tell y'all, man, you'd be shocked at the difference pillows make. Like, new pillows. When's the last time you guys got new pillows? Okay. Weird conversation I know to have, but hear me out here. If you have not, save up a little money, treat yourself to new pillows. Trust me. Um, man, these ones I got now are giant. And one of them is basically worth two. And let me tell you something. That's worth it. So there is a transmission tower, so that is our next stop. So we are going to go there. 
2D transmission tower. Uh, because I want to. There are two reasons for me wanting to do these sorts of things. Thing one is that A. I'm not gonna lie, that's quite a interesting little game with the messenger and all this other stuff, blah blah blah, but right now we're looking for a few different things. We're looking for eggs. Eggs are in your buildings. We're looking for extra nanites. Nanites are very important for new technology. And blueprints. Uh, they've made nanites much more valuable, I think than I remember them being previously. Maybe I'm out of it, but uh, I do not believe they were half as important as they are now. So there's navigation data I can put in as well. For the signal booster. Uh, so exploration in this game feels like you're getting rewarded more now than you used to. Um, and I like that too. I mean, that's also important. So for those of you who are on the fence about installing No Man's Sky, if you own it but you've been disappointed, I would say maybe give it a try now. Um, a lot's changed. Now again, I don't know how it was originally. I don't know. I can't tell you all that because I didn't buy it then. I got it gifted to me on sale. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, I was told how to deal with these very easily. So we are going to, as a traveler, say that I have my own special power, and that special power... We're going to go ahead and say that I have my own thing. And that my own little thing there is something that is quite simply a... a little helper. Oh, there's something there about a starship. Saw there, right? And when I say this, I clean this area. Big fucking thing, whatever that is. Parasited, built in metal mess. It's creepy, isn't it? There's a distress beacon. So next we're gonna go there. And I need Okay, really. I need a launch tool. So I need little plating. I do think the launch cost in this game is a little high, but I always have. I always have. We're going everywhere we can in this right now. No, you get. I tagged it and it landed me at the same time. Lessons to remember. So what I'm going to do now is do this. And remember now guys, this is a something I told you all about, right? So, you see that there?
do with the fucking anomaly after? One thing that I think No Man's Sky does uh, that it could do better is that I think they need to space the story out a little more, let you discover more. On one end, I feel like they've done this with people who felt like they didn't really know where they were going. But on the other end, I feel like maybe they could have taken more time with it. Like you just saw there, I have found both a distress signal and something else at the same time. And, uh, oh shit, that's what that one. So I don't really know what I'm doing. There's a distress beacon. I do apologize, guys. It has been a uh, It's a long night. It's a long night. Follow you out there. If I seem slightly run down, it's just been a long week on top of it. Yeah. yeah it's been a long while, guys. It's been a long while. I do apologize for you, so I don't need to make excuses. Um, of course, as always, I'm eternally grateful for all of our viewers. Uh, you know, look, even if this channel never gets huge, I'm happy that at least I get to share some cool stuff with you guys and maybe cheer your day up. It cheers my day up, too, to cheer your day up, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. My, my dream is down the road. I would love to do this full time and uh, make you all laugh and let you all enjoy yourself, and that would be wonderful. Just if it doesn't happen one day, I'll just have to bite the bullet and realize that I just suck at this, and if that happens, it happens. Um, There's more out there I'm not seeing. So here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go. No, this thing. I could have swore that other that other thing there. How many can Did I not pick my signal booster up? Is there literally just a signal beast around the ground somewhere? No, there is. No shit. This will literally be the third signal beast I've made. Oh, that's crummy. It happens, right? I cannot actually believe I just did that. I always pick that damn thing up, I thought I had it on me. Okay, so. Now we're going to change the material and color. I want wood. Select wood, we'll select this. And then it fits everything else that I worked on. So.
Alright, so we got one of them. Or else we're gonna scan it one more time. Straight out second time. Alright, so we got a distress signal there. The banner building there. Now you hold down and pick up. Okay, this is H. That's like the third F1 of his own. That one's five hours, that one is not that far away. We're, uh, we're gonna go with, uh, grab some of this plant up here to keep us going. Um, this is what I mean, guys, about exploring. The planet itself, I think, is important because, for one thing, you never know the sorts of stuff you will find. You could find something great, you could find something crummy. So what I'm going to do is run my ass off to this abandoned building, call my ship over there, and then leave and land there again. Uh, I just want to find a place to call my own. No, I just want to find a place that's either got eggy wuggies or that has like, something, you know? Um, our new ship, our new ship would be lovely. Yeah, we're just taking my damn ship. I'm not saying with all this nonsense. Uh, so no, I mean, it is, it's a great thing, the whole exploring of this game, and this is a longer one, I'm sure. Um, we're all at over an hour right now, but I don't really care. And, uh, I got told before that these series Let's Play should be a little longer, so we're making them a little longer. This is not the only series Let's Play you're going to be treated to this week. I would like to have a vote from you all, too. Do you feel like I should wait and do my ship shopping on screen for you all, or should I wait and try and just finagle the money through agates and, and other such nonsense and then just go and buy the ship off screen and surprise you all with my ship? You let me know. Let me know what you guys think I should do. And I will uh, I'll go from there. I'll take your advice on it. If you guys would rather see the ship purchasing, I will make that part of a let's play. If you guys would rather, uh, instead of that, I keep moving with this stuff. And don't worry about that, but focus instead on the exploration aspect. Unless I'm buying and building. Or if you guys want to see all of it, every little pretty detail, then let me know that too. Um, basically, let me know what you guys feel I should do here, and that is what I will. Uh, that's what I'll do. So I've had a few of you who have said one. I've had a few of you who have said the other. I feel like at this rate, it could go either way. Those used to actually do something. Those used to be like um, dictionaries. I think there's a recipe here. I don't keep these. Some people keep them to sell for petty change, but while I'm all about the money, I don't usually do that. Okay, so this nanite cluster is nothing else. Um, now, I don't know what Quicksilver does for money, but I am very curious about that. Because I know that it's a new type of money that has not been in the previous iterations of this game. Uh, unless I haven't played it in that long, which is also possible. I haven't played this in a while. So, I'm sure there are some things that are different. You know, are these eggs? So, we found, we found eggs. So this is what I was told to do, guys, alright? Yeah, I don't like this at all, man. So we're gonna mine a whale on the Whispering Eggs. Apparently doing this makes these beasties come up. 
But they are not, oh, they lied. They're not supposed to attack me. While I have this down. So instead we're gonna do a bubble pack and just kill the hell out of here for now. And let them get mad. And continually fuck with the legs. So what basically happens is the eggs sell for a ton. So we're getting the eggs. They get pissed off, but then after 30 seconds, we'll go back in the ground. Um, now they must have patched it, because previously what I was told is if you stood on an egg sack site, they would not attack you. Clearly that is not the case. Oh, you little fuckers. Taking the eggs with them. So this is now. This has been a bust, people. This side thing. I'll say one thing. It's not that they're hard, but holy shit, are they relentless. We're gonna test this theory twice, so maybe I did this wrong. Oh, that sucked. Like maybe this is what they meant by getting on top of one. I personally don't know. I was told and what I just experienced were completely effing different things. Oh my god, these little shits are crazy. So, it's gonna be like that, is it? Can I at least scan them? Can I scan these things? The ring monstrosities also, so that's sweet. Well, on the plus side, I at least know that I can go through and do this. And uh, this will suck, but you know. It is what it is. Uh, the vote caster is good to go. Let's get some carbon in there. Let's recharge that a little bit. So, alright guys. So basically what this seems to be... Let's see what the big deal is with this egg, shall we? It's a grab one. I know I grab one. Holy shit, look at how much one of those is worth. Yeah, baby, it's worth it. Let's get it right now. Let's just go get it. Get it, get it, get it. I don't care what it is that's incoming. We're just trying to get these idiots to wait for it. So they take about 30 seconds to leave. You swoop down, get the eggs, go back to the ship, go to space, sell the eggs. But they're getting all mad, and screaming at me, and swearing and shit. Oh, they're so angry with them. They're livid right now. Oh, I mean, I really can't be upset with that. They are kind of stealing their kids. I'm a big move on my part now. So we're gonna load up on these. I'm gonna go over there and see if the distress signal is afterwards. Uh, I'll win this let's play. I'm trying to do more on each let's play. Um, and we will end this let's play by basically landing and going and grabbing. Let's see if it just. 
No, not sea bridges. God, what's happened? I'm so angry. I was almost a bitch. Yes, I'm aware. Can you imagine how hot that must be? 206 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not gonna lie, we've had unusually hot weather here in Michigan, and it has been brutal with the capital B. It's fucking brutal. And even I can't imagine. Come on, come on. Take your little ugly asses. Go away. Shoe bug, shoe. Oh my god, lady, I know. This is H. Okay. I invited the whole neighborhood down here to whoop my ass with that one. I've got to get some of this stuff in here. There. That was a must. So, Diggy Wuggies. Good to know, bro. Right, yeah, when I first saw about something about them, I thought, what in the hell? But look at the total value there, guys. So it's very easy to imagine what I might do offline then is at least get up the money. If you all do not mind to worry about uh, an egg. Yeah, I'm only getting one of these puppies at a time. I didn't understand why another game reviewer mentioned that we could only do one at a time, but now I get it. There's just no way to get close enough. Goodness me. Um, go back in there, Jesus, please. So, yeah, this is one of two No Man's Sky videos I'm going to do this week, and I'd like your input, guys. Let me know down below. Go and get the ship offline, get the ship online. What do you guys prefer I do? If you like to see the ship purchase, are you more concerned with just. Exploring the silly clips, all that stuff. If so, we can keep it to that. I can do the shopping on my own time and then make sure that I cover the exploring with you all. Or if you want to just see all of it, I'm fine with that as well. Uh, you guys let me know. This is obviously going to be a long series. I don't know if I'm playing this to the end or if I'm just going to play this to a certain point and then basically have a little memorandum of my character's adventures and call it quits with that, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. I feel like I'm in a good place right now when it comes down to No Man's Sky and what my galaxy do in it. And uh, I am thoroughly enjoying the game this time around. Not that I haven't, actually. When I played it before, I really enjoyed it. I didn't have a lot of, you know, a lot of people were bitching about it. I didn't really have a bad experience. And I know that's not a popular opinion, sorry, but I really didn't. So while a lot of you out there may have had a bad experience, I did not have a bad experience. Oh my god, I died. I died. That fucking sucks. On the plus side, it's not the worst because I can still go and grab my shirt. One thing I do like is that you have this little space grave for you so you can get to your stuff. I have five level cards, that's all I can get. That's gonna give me some more money, so we're the hell out of here with that. So 
What I'm gonna do is at least try and sell that. Oh, baby, what are you? Are you? No. Um. They're also gonna go and look. That's a distress signal. Yeah, I'm not fucking with that. That's too far away. Now, where is it? Distress signal there. One feature that I hope they put back in, they had it for a while and then I guess they removed it, but I would like them to put it back in, is autopilot. Um, I think it was a very cool idea. I'm not quite sure why they did remove it, but I hope they put it back. For people like me, for example, uh, on occasion maybe I just want to listen to some music, chill out, explore the planet. I may not always want to just sit there and have this go on. Holy cow, let this be a ship I can own. Wow, we. It's still a class C, but. A lot of damage. A lot of damage, so. This new one's worth five million. She holds more. She definitely needs uh needs some work, eh? So I'll tell you what I think I will probably do guys here. Any ship is better than my ship, let's be honest. Um, she really only needs... a rocket launcher. We got a lot to fix, baby. We got a lot to fix. Ah, paraffin. This is going to take a little while. So this is what I'm going to do. We're going to fix this puppy. I'm going to fix this puppy and then we're going to come back out. Uh, and when we are done, the next Let's Play, you will see the new ship. Totally done. Totally, uh, totally amazing. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, but thank you guys very much for watching tonight. We have found our next ship, so we're getting somewhere. So for free, you know, we got a five million dollar ship. We got enough stuff on us now to, bang bang, to do it. Oh, shut up. Anyways, uh, I am Bones. Make sure you like, subscribe. You guys have a groovy night. Thank you very much. And on the next one, she'll be fixed. Uh, and I'm gonna probably leave it at that. I don't want to do too much more with it offhand, but yeah We will see you guys later. I'm excited about fixing this puppy up